Requesting support. Two. Grid zero, two, three. Zero, one, zero. Hi guys and welcome to my tutorial on how to call artillery in from AI. Now it's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, first of all what you're going to want to do is find yourself a soldier. I'm going to go with the JTAC. So just throw down any desert soldier. There we go. So there we got our JTAC soldier. So this will be your player. Second of all you're going to want to get a mortar. Now mortar we're going to select here. Now, with a mortar, you're going to want it pretty close uh, to your FOB. This is not something you're going to want quite far away. So here we have our mortar over here. Now, what I'm going to show you guys is like this. We're going to do with the heavy artillery as well. Now, what you want to do is right-click on your shoulder, group two, and connect it to your player. That way, it'll be now be in a squad, and you can call in the fire. Now, you're going to want to do the same thing with artillery except the artillery you're going to want to put quite far away because the artillery has a zone at which it can't fire it's a bit too close it won't be able to fire so you'll see you'll call the um, artillery in and he'll tell you uh, you're going to have to redo the coordinates he's not able to fire that way you know you're a bit too close so I'm just going to put the uh, scorcher down here as everyone should have it now when it's quite far away you don't want to click group 2 and then go all the way back so we're going to go to our soldier like this we're then going to click on the gunner we're going to say group 2 we're going to click on our soldier over here then going to click on the commander of the artillery we're going to group him as well so the driver you can leave that way the driver won't drive to you and try and regroup so he should stay there so now we've got the artillery grouped to us and we've got the mortar grouped to us so we're going to go ahead and Play the scenario okay guys here we've spawned in we've got our uh, we're just gonna tell them to stop, stop. so they should stay there we've got our mortar over here now and in the bottom left you can see that we are grouped to the mortar and then the scorchers gunner and commander so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to our gun tower quickly our firing tower grab some cover now this is going to work best with some binoculars preferably the range finders so here we got our squad over here so we're going to want to click f2 if you see in the bottom left it selects our mortar there you then see on the top left it brings up a menu we're going to click fire artillery then it'll offer you a bunch of different shells you can fire we're going to click he and because um, it's so far it's not going to be too accurate Requesting support. So two. Grid zero two five zero one three. Rounds complete. So they will tell you that the rounds are complete. If they sent, and uh, now we just watch. So it should be landing soon. Oh, that was right on there. Cool. So there we had three explosions. He obviously fired three shots, and uh, <laughs> I don't know where those insurgents have flown, but they're not dead. Cool. Okay. Now we've got a second squad over here. They should be in the tree line as well. There he is over there. Cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click uh, F3 or F4. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna go fire artillery. We can fire highly explosive. Requesting support. Three grid zero just one for a eight second. zero one three. Rounds complete. Okay, there. So that that you heard there was actually the artillery gun firing. So that's just a bit of confirmation as to the round coming in. So there's our guy over there. This round does take a bit of a while because they do shoot it so high. So it's normally about 30 seconds, 40 seconds or so. Okay, 
So there the round hit. Let's see if our insurgents are still up. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I hope it works. I hope you guys understood it. If you guys want help with anything else, please do comment in the section below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy editing.